What's up everybody? It's Justin at SNK Greenhouse and we just got in the largest shipment of conifers in SNK history and I'm so excited to go through and tell you all about them. All right, so I don't want to throw a monkey wrench at you right at the beginning, but I kind of do. Let's check out this monkey puzzle tree, also known as a Chilean pine. It's native to Argentina and Chile. It's very unusual, pretty rare, I'll, I'll add. It's got this large spacing or gaps in between the branching. As it grows, you know, 30, 40, even 50 feet tall, these lower branches kind of fall off and it makes a beautiful canopy up top. Something else I'd like to add about them is they're actually pretty old trees. They've been around a long time and they can live for centuries. All right, let's talk about a fun topiary. Got several of these. This is a Chinensis juniperus sea green, also known as a Chinese juniper. The variety is sea green, but what they have done is basically make them into a, a topiary, sort of a, maybe an Asian contemporary look. Uh, these are just pom-poms that they've trimmed up. You can keep this to this size exactly, just maybe once or twice a year, you're gonna need to prune. All right, up next, let's talk about Pinus strobus louis. Strobus is an Eastern white pine. It's native to Eastern United States. What I love about this one is it stays relatively compact. In 10 years, it's gonna reach a height of about six to eight feet, only three feet wide. Pines, of course, love part to full sun, well draining soil in the winter time you get this beautiful gold color and my my these needles are soft and then in the spring and summer when it warms up uh, you're going to get more of this uh, lime green color that's the interior needles now but it'll be more prominent on the outside later on all right now we have cedrus atlantica pendula and <laughs> that's just to say this is a weeping atlas cedar in serpentine form. So they've trained it to kind of make this S pattern. It, this one's probably seven or eight feet tall. You can either keep this pattern and keep training it to its 10, 12, 15 feet tall, or you can let that top leader come back down or chop it off and kind of stun its growth. These are really great part to full sun conifers. They're gonna need well draining soil. It, this kind of form is gonna give you that Asian contemporary look, but there are other forms. Let's skip back here and look at a, another form called a mounding habit or a fish hook habit. And you can see where they, instead of the S, they've just kind of trained this one to come down. All right, you guys know I love Fat Albert blue spruce. That's Picea pungens. All that is is a blue spruce, but I love Fat Albert for our zone, zone seven, because it just seems to hold up to our heat and humidity very, very well. It keeps its blue color year round. In the, in the springtime or around May, it flushes out this baby blue new growth. You know, I've got one planted down at the sign. I've done videos about it. I love it so much. These are gonna need part to full sun, well draining soil, and this one's around here in the south you can expect it to get anywhere from 12 15 feet and probably be probably about 8 to 10 foot wide so let's talk about another picea pungens i love uh, colorado blue spruce in a weeping form picea pungens pendula i got two of them right here look how crazy these guys look so this is a again a weeping form of colorado blue spruce you can kind of train that leader to keep growing straight up or you can train it to come back down when you get it to the height that you want it to. You see these in all different forms. You see them you know, on trails where they stick out into the walkway, or this would make a really good corner planting at your home. Again, part to full sun and well draining soil. And while we're on the topic of spruces, let's talk about Picea orientalis skylands. Uh, orientalis is just an oriental spruce. These grow quite well here in the south as long as you have, again, well draining soil and part to full sun around here you could expect this tree to get about 15 to 20 feet tall but if you're in the pacific northwest you can expect it to get much larger just kind of depends on where you're at it keeps these gold needles year round and has more of a pyramidal habit this is pinus leucodermis compact gem this is a bosnian pine it's got stiffer green needles a little bit longer this tree is going to grow up about eight to 10 feet tall. 
maybe in the five to six foot range. It's relatively compact. Again, part to full sun, well draining soil. And when this thing candles in the springtime, it is absolutely beautiful. And this guy is Picea abies nidiformis. Picea abies is a Norway spruce. This is a type of bird's nest spruce, believe it or not. These grow completely flat and prostrate to the ground. So no worry about getting really, really tall. Uh, this is a really great low growing plant. So keep that in mind if you need something that doesn't overtake a space and get very tall. So I got this thing turned up sideways. Here's what it actually looks like growing flat. And as you can see, as it matures, it's gonna get these branches that come up and kind of make these layers. And this beauty right here is Sango Kaku. It's a type of coral bark Japanese maple. And yes, in the dead of winter, you get this coral bark. I don't know if you guys watched the tour with Bruce Duncan. He had one at his house and it's absolutely beautiful, especially in the spring, summer, and fall when those chartreuse uh, green leaves come out against this coral bark. Absolute beauty. This thing grows about 20 to 25 feet tall. And this is Pinus strobus domingo. And I actually have one of these in my yard. I planted it a couple years ago. Again, strobus is an eastern white pine. And what I love about these uh, eastern white pines is the soft needles. They're definitely not sharp and stiff like the Bosnian pine. So I, that's a pretty cool feature. Also, it's got this lovely blue year-round foliage and this tree is probably going to get up somewhere around 25 feet tall. This pine looks similar th to the Domingo, but this is actually Pinus flexus Vanderwolf's pyramid. And my, my, would this make an outstanding specimen. It's going to grow up about 20 to 30 feet tall, around 10 feet wide. And again, it's got this you know, soft blue needles. You're going to have year round color. This one grows in a pyramidal form, slightly irregular. So it's not super formal, but again, what a striking accent or specimen this tree would make. This right here, while we're on the topic of blue conifers is Cedrus Deodora electric blue. I love cedars for the South. They seem to be indestructible, grow about anywhere as long as you do have some sun. And of course you want some well draining soil. This is gonna grow up about 10 feet tall, maybe around six feet wide. It's got these silvery blue needles, short needles year round. So this would absolutely make a striking specimen. Up next, we have another form of weeping blue spruce called Slenderina. This one's neat because it's slower growing, so it's gonna fit those compact spaces. And you definitely wanna train this one however you will. I mean, just take this top leader, you can train it down like you're gonna make a waterfall. You can train it back up to make a taller conifer. You're gonna have year round blue needles. And of course, with all these conifers, you guessed it, well draining soil and this one's going to take part to full sun. You guys know I love arborvitaes. I, I think this is the first arborvitae we've talked about. I've got two of these at home. This is Forever Goldie, and I use these all the time in my landscapes. If you want something, uh, a nice corner planting or something on either side of your steps, a conifer that stays to itself and doesn't get overgrown and you don't have to prune all the time, this one's going to be great. It grows pyramidally. You can expect it to get maybe 10 feet tall four feet wide, but just look at this. It's beautiful gold foliage year round. This is Camicipris Blue Boulevard. It's been made into a Hindu pan or pom-pom style. So yes, it has been pruned to look this way. To keep this up, you might have to prune twice a year. You can either continue to let it grow with a top leader and make more pom-poms. You can also just keep it to this height. It's got that Asian contemporary style. Now this time of year, it does have more of a dull look. It's still blue but not as blue as it's gonna be in the spring and summertime when the new needles flush out. And this conifer right here is full of personality. It's definitely got that weeping form, kind of looking like a ghost right now. It's got year round blue color. It's probably gonna grow up somewhere around in the six to 10 foot range, but you could actually stun its growth right here if you wanted to by clipping out that top leader. It's got these beautiful blue silvery needles. 
definitely going to make an impact in your landscape if you need a specimen. This is Pinus strobus pendula. Again, got these green soft needles. Pinus strobus pendula is a weeping white pine. You can kind of train these to grow however you want. This one's been trained to grow upright, so you can expect this to keep growing, maybe 15, 20 foot tall eventually, but this one is a slow grower. It's a pine, so part to full sun, well draining soil. And again, if you like that weeping look, this one's pretty rare. You don't see a lot of these around here, but I think it makes an excellent specimen. Don't underestimate this Norway spruce. This is Picea abies acricona. Now this one does grow upright, but it has a very irregular uh, branching to it. But what I love about this one is it's cherry red cones. This is going to probably grow up around here in that 15 to 20 foot range, year round green color, of course, and part to full sun. I promise you, if you want a specimen that nobody else has in their yards, because I rarely see these, check out Picea abies acricona. This is Picea orientalis gracilis. You remember the skylands I showed you that was gold? Well, this is the green version pretty much, except for it stays smaller and it's got these very short green needles. I love it year round color. And I always find that oriental pines do great here in the South. I absolutely love this pine right here. This is Pinus nigra oregon green this is an austrian pine it's going to grow up about 10 to 12 foot tall maybe eight foot wide what stands out about it to me is how densely it grows check that out it's kind of like a thunderhead pine which i'm about to show you in a moment but it's a little more formal shaped uh still grows pyramidally uh, the needles are very long and stiff when it candles it's absolutely gorgeous in the springtime absolutely love this as a specimen this is probably one of the most compact blue spruces out there this is picea pungens waldbrun it even says on the tag that it only gets about two foot tall so that kind of tells you how old it is this one's probably growing to about three foot tall year-round blue color this is going to be perfect if you have a space where you need a conifer or evergreen that doesn't need to get too big because maybe the space is tight so as long as again you have that well draining soil and part to full sun you're going to do well with this one this is a pine that's native to coastal japan pinus thunderhead yes i told you we were going to talk about this one absolutely one of my favorite pines of all times because of how well it does here in the south it's a japanese black pine and thunderhead is a pine that grows very irregular i have one of these in my yard i have showed it in many of the videos mine's probably already gotten about 12 foot tall so over time you can expect it to get about 15 foot tall but again very irregular shaped branches one of my favorite things about this pine is when it candles in the spring it's absolutely gorgeous you want a specimen here you go so we've talked about picea orientalis skylands picea orientalis gracilis this is picea orientalis gaudi so the gaudi is going to grow more like the skylands in height and width it's got uh, these short green needles year-round green color if you need a specimen uh, and you're in the south and you want to grow a spruce but you're a little bit scared Picea orientalis is the way to go. I love this Gaudi because it's got this unique densely formed branches and yes it is going to get that pyramidal shape. Love this one. So here's a spruce we've not talked about. This is Picea omarica bruns pendula. That's a mouthful. This is a form of weeping Serbian spruces. We've not talked about uh, Serbian spruces, but I find that they do quite well here in the south. This weeping form is pretty cool because it stays very narrow, but it'll grow up very tall. So it's going to fit those tight and narrow spaces. Now, if you just let this leader do what it wants, it will make some irregular curves. So if you want it to grow nice and straight, you do need to stake it. But I kind of like the look of how it does when you just let it go. And as you can see, we got in some, uh, there's a Waldron there and a B&B, &B. it's just a little smaller. We got it some different size Thunderheads. Let's talk about this guy. This is Irish Bell. This is another Bosnian pine. Now, if you like the look of Bosnian pines, this one stays very compact so again if you have that tight space where you need to fit a conifer this only gets about six feet tall 
four feet wide so it's a nice fat pyramidal shape evergreen color love the cones in the springtime all right let's back on up back on up to one of my favorite <laughs> i'll have so many favorites you're probably tired of hearing me say that but this right here is a weeping white spruce this is Picea glocka pendula and i just love the narrow weeping form of this now this is much more formal than like the pendula bruns i showed you earlier with that serbian spruce this has grayish green needles and ever so often it's going to have these layers of weeping branches as that central leader grows up you can expect this one to get probably 10 to 15 foot tall and three to four foot wide this is picea omarica bronze now i showed you a weeping form earlier this is just the standard form so this is going to grow up about 30 feet tall but only 10 feet wide makes a great specimen if, if you have the space and need something larger it's going to have that classic conical spruce look but i love the densely formed grayish green needles this is a golden leland cypress it's actually called gold rider and then you can kind of see why it's going to get about anywhere from 20 to 30 feet tall 10 to 15 foot wide it's great for privacy screens but i actually love this as a specimen just because of its uniquely gold foliage it grows very dense so much more interesting and cool than a plain old leland cypress don't have anything against those but you see them they're very common you don't see the gold ones have you ever wanted to grow an italian cypress but you're in a zone that's a little too cold for them you know the trees that grow up 20 30 feet tall but only like one or two foot wide well good news there's the taylor juniper and these are a lot more cold hardy they still got the evergreen you know green look to them they grow very narrow very tall and i love these in entryways or corner plantings i could see this in many many different applications because of how compact it stays here's another conifer we haven't mentioned in this video yet it's actually a hinoki cypress it's a gold one called confucius now this one's going to get about 10 to 15 10 to 15 foot tall sorry six to eight foot wide makes an absolutely gorgeous specimen uh, these are very well worth having in your yard they grow great in the south might i add and just look at the color and the shape of the leaves come on in i really want to show you uh just the fan shaped golden foliage you can tell i've been messing with trees all day but look how pretty that is and then right beside it i've only had one of these ever at the nursery they're so hard to find this is suga canadensis pendula and that's basically just a weeping canadian hemlock and it looks like a canadian hemlock except weeping form um, it has this leader that has been trained to come back down i don't know if you can see that but you know normally you know nurseries train them different ways so if you trained it up it would still get really really tall but this one won't get any taller because it's been trained to go back down so from here on out it's only going to get fuller now what do i love about hemlocks well they actually don't have to have full sun they can tolerate a good bit of shade and that's pretty rare for a conifer if you want a weeping full-size specimen look no further this is camisiparis new condensus pendula all that is is a weeping alaskan cedar now i've talked about these before i've had narrow forms this is a standard form so it is going to spread out it's at least going to get 15 foot wide probably about 25 foot tall these are, grow great around here in the south and in many other places too but i just love the pendulous branches and the grayish green year-round foliage these are liquid ombar slender silhouette this is a narrow form of a sweet gum tree i first seen these at the asheville botanical garden here in north carolina zone seven and i was blown away it is deciduous so it's naked right now but it will leaf out green but you talk about a crazy crazy display when this thing has leafed out and it's got some size on it these will absolutely grow 30 40 feet tall but only a few feet wide absolutely stunning at an entryway this is pinus sylvesteris 
Globosa viridis. Okay, we haven't talked about Sylvesterous pines, but that's also commonly called a Scotch pine or a Scotch pine. This one is interesting because it only ever gets about six foot tall. So this one's almost at full maturity. That kind of tells you how old it is. It's very, very slow growing kind of resembles the shape and style of an alberta spruce except for it's way cooler i've never had one of these at the nursery definitely expect year-round color beautiful candles in the spring and a specimen that you're probably not going to see very often what we have here is another deodor cedar this one's called prostrate beauty and it's called prostrate because it grows along the ground so if you have some rocks or something like that you want some limbs to grow over and you're tired of the look of a juniper this is a great one now they have trained this leader to grow up tall but the plant itself is not going to get much taller this is going to weep back down and grow again prostrate to the ground look at this huge specimen so if you have the space and you want that instant gratification a big large uh, specimen that commands some attention this is a standard size deodor cedar so this is going to grow up at least 30 40 even 50 foot tall year-round color cedars do great again right here in the south and it's going to have this beautiful greenish goldish uh needles and i just love the look of them well there you go folks that concludes this conifer tour if you have any questions please let me know down in the comment section i'll try to get to them especially if they pertain to growing conifers in the south we know we'd love to help you out also if you happen to be within driving distance of snk greenhouse and you want to get updated every time we get shipments of conifers in and be the first to know there's going to be a link down in the description click that sign up it's free and you'll get notifications every time we receive awesome conifers and until next time become a plant person